Hello, Trinity Preschool. We hope you've all had a great week. It's so good to be back together with you. We're learning together that God has a plan for you and you are part of God's big story. Yep. Over the last few weeks, we have been hearing amazing stories from the Bible about people who trusted and obeyed God, even when things seemed crazy or they had to wait a very, very long time for things to happen. Noah built a very, very big boat, even though he didn't live anywhere near the ocean or a lake. <laughs> and then Abraham and Sarah waited a very, very long time to have a baby and were really old when their son Isaac was born. They were. Now these friends from the Bible trusted God when he made promises to them and they never stopped believing that God would keep those promises because they knew that they were part of God's story. Today, we're going to hear how God's story continues as we learn more about Abram and Sarah's son, Isaac, and all the changes that happened when he grew up. And something about what it means to be tricked. But before we do that, let's all get ready to sing together as we worship the God who is with us, even when everything changes. years, Rebecca couldn't have children. So Isaac prayed to God about the problem. God heard Isaac and he sent two babies, twins. When the twins were born, one was all red and fuzzy. Isaac and Rebecca named him Esau. The other twin had smooth skin. They named him Jacob. Someday when these boys were all grown up, they would be the leaders of two amazing families. The boys grew up. And one day, Esau came in from hunting. Jacob had been cooking. I'm hungry. Give me some of that soup, said Esau. Jacob was a sneaky guy. He said, give me your rights as the firstborn son, and I will. Esau agreed. Okay, if I starve, my rights won't help me anyway. Jacob gave Esau a big bowl of soup, and he ate it. Esau didn't know that he had just been tricked. Later on, Esau found out that bowl of soup cost him everything. Isaac, their father, gave everything he had to Jacob when it should have been Esau's. Esau had been foolish. 
Jacob was scared because he knew how angry Esau was. He ran away. And after all that tricky business, many years passed when the brothers weren't together. But God was at work. Jacob wanted to go home, but he was afraid. Jacob saw Esau coming towards him and he bowed down because he was afraid. Surprise! Esau was happy to see his brother Jacob. Esau ran to Jacob and gave him hugs and kisses. Who are all these people? Esau asked. They're mine, Jacob answered. God has been good to me. The brothers became friends again. There is a verse from the Bible that reminds us why we can obey and trust God. It goes like this. For God is king over all the earth. <laughs> Psalm 47, verse 7. You did it, June. God is king over all the earth. Last week, we heard the story of Abraham and Sarah and their long journey to their new home and their long journey to become a mum <laughs> and a dad. God gave them Isaac, and he brought such joy to Abraham and Sarah, which yeah. was perfect because his name means laughter. Now, Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah, and when Isaac grew up, he married a woman named Rebekah. God gave Isaac and Rebekah twin boys. Their names were Jacob and Esau. When they were born, Esau was all red and fuzzy. He had lots of hair on his body. His brother Jacob was not hairy and had smooth skin. God knew that someday when these boys grew up, they would become the leaders of two great mm. families. Now, even though they were twins as Jacob and Esau grew up, they were quite different and liked to do different things. Esau liked to be outdoors and became a good hunter. Isaac, their dad, liked to eat the meat that Esau hunted and cooked, so Esau was kind of dad's favorite. <laughs> now, Jacob didn't really like to be outdoors hunting and doing nope. the same things as his brother. He liked to stay home with his mom and, be, and learn to cook and make great soup. <laughs> Everyone loved the soup Jacob made, but because he liked to be home with his mom, Jacob was his mom's favorite. Oh, dear. One day, Esau came in from hunting and he was very hungry. Jacob was cooking up his delicious soup that everyone loved yeah. and Esau asked Jacob for some of the soup. Now Jacob wanted something that belonged to Esau and he uh -oh. thought he could trade it for a bowl of soup. Uh -oh. Jacob knew that Esau was very hungry, so Jacob tricked Esau into giving him something that did not belong to him. But Esau was so hungry that he agreed to do what Jacob wanted him to do. Jacob was kind of a sneaky guy. Jacob gave Esau a big bowl of soup and he ate it. Esau didn't even know that he had been tricked. When Esau found out that Jacob had tricked him, he was really, really mad. Jacob was afraid and ran away and he stayed away from home a long time. Mm -hmm. Jacob traveled a long way to his uncle's house and while he was working there, he met and married a woman named Rachel. Jacob and Rachel had children, but after many years of living in another land, Jacob decided it was time for him, Rachel, and all their children to go back to his home, where his brother Esau still lived with his family. But even though Jacob wanted to be back home with his brother, he was afraid that Esau might still be really, really mad at him for mm. tricking him so many years before. So he prayed and prayed and prayed. He asked God to give him courage to meet up with Esau again. Mm -hmm. When they met up again, Jacob was so surprised because Esau was so happy to see him and they hugged each other with big bear hugs. Those hugs are the best. The brothers became friends again, just like God mm -hmm. planned. Now sometimes boys and girls, when we do something wrong, we feel really sad about it. But just like Jacob prayed for God to give him courage to see Esau again, we can pray and ask God to give us the courage when to make things right again. Helping Jacob and Esau to forgive and love each other was a really, really big deal. But we serve a God who is bigger mm -hmm. than big. You see, God has big plans for you. When you obey and to trust God, he will show you how you are part of his great big story. God, you made our big blue sky You made the oceans deep and wide God, you made the trees so tall and Your love is bigger than it all God, you're bigger than big Stronger than strong 
Pray together. Dear God. Dear God. We know that you keep your promises. We know that you keep your promises. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my family. Just like Jacob and Esau learned to love and to forgive. Just like Jacob and Esau learned to love and to forgive. Help me to love my family. Help me to love my family. Help me to ask for forgiveness when I make wrong choices. Help me to ask for forgiveness when I make wrong choices. We love you, God. We love you, God. And all God's kids said... Amen. Amen. This week's activity in your Trinity Kids box is so much fun. Get out your handy dandy glue stick and a picture of baby Esau and a picture of baby Jacob. They're twins, so you get to dress them up in matching <laughs> outfits, but then you need to use the yarn to make the one twin hairy. He needs hair in his head, hair in his arms, <laughs> and on his legs, because that's how God made him special. God has made you special. Just like God had a plan for Esau and a plan for Jacob, God has a plan for you. He wants you to obey and trust him. You know, Jacob and Esau didn't always make the best choices. In fact, did you know that Jacob's name means sneaky? Oh, have you ever tricked your brother or sister? Or taken something that didn't belong to you? Or fought with your brother or sister? You know what? It's not worth it. For many years, Jacob and Esau did not see each other, and we don't think that was God's perfect plan for them. Mm -hmm. But God reminded them about what was really important and helped them to become friends again. So, right now, get up from where you're sitting. Have you got up? Go and give a hug to every member of your family. And say to them, you are part of God's big story. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.